Hi, welcome. This is Cloud. This is a spoiler-free review of Assassin's Creed Mirage. I'll go through the ins and outs of the story and gameplay and give some pros and some cons. This is the PS5 version. It was captured in performance mode. The story is, of course, based in medieval Baghdad, Iran. The mythology is based on Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. Most people probably know this as Aladdin. There is something that leads up to this in the game, but the story is definitely not as deep and as rich in mythology lore as some of the other Assassin's Creed games like Origins, Valhalla, and Odyssey, or even some of the older Assassin's Creed games like Black Flag or the Ezio Trilogy. The graphics in this game were really great when you're doing assassination animations or parkouring over rooftops, sliding back into stealth positions, or when you assassinate an enemy. That's really about it. During my first 10 hours, I noticed maybe a couple times where the frames would drop during the assassination animation that I was currently performing. There were some cut scenes were things like facial animations and hair on characters like Basim and Rashan looked more last gen. And I really wish they had put some more work into these scenes because about halfway through, I would end up just skipping most of the dialogue, especially since I didn't really feel much of a connection with any of the other characters or their stories except for Basim. All the NPCs even looked like a copy, edit, and paste job directly from the NPCs in Valhalla and Odyssey. So there wasn't really anything distinct that stood out to me from the previous NPC character designs that were in the older Assassin's Creed games as well before this. What they did do right was making the area of Baghdad about 90% all traversable through parkour and sliding, which I found very satisfying. In the beginning of the game, it took some time for me to get used to the parkour mechanics for some reason. The parkour mechanics did not feel as smooth as, let's say, Assassin's Creed Unity, which was one of my favorite Assassin's Creed titles to parkour in. There are some remote areas like the Oasis and Dunes, which felt a little bit more like open areas and origins where there was nothing to parkour on because you're basically in a desert where there are no buildings. One thing as well is that uh, can be very easily overlooked for several hours is the fact that you can still get on small boats and steer them in rivers just like you could in Assassin's Creed Origins and Odyssey. So they kept that in Mirage, which is fine, but all the areas around the rivers have buildings. So you can just parkour over them. And I didn't really feel the need to ever use the small boats to travel except just for the experience of trying it out. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the music in this game. The music in this game is great. It got my blood pumping during some scenes where I had guards that were chasing me and I was trying to escape them after I unalived someone or they recognized me from a wanted poster and I had to flee or just duke it out with them right there. Ubisoft also got the band One Republic to record an original song for the game called Mirage. Check it out. It's pretty good. Everybody's favorite part the combat. The combat in this game really shines and it's parrying into assassination moves. For my first playthrough, I tried to unlock all the skills first in the Phantom skill tree line, which I'll get to in a bit. Basim's play style is very deadly when you take advantage of the parrying mechanics and the stat called defense damage, which increases the parry's impact to your attacker's stun meter. When the stun meter is higher than their health bar, you will be able to do an instant assassination move on the enemy, and Basim will not be able to be hit by surrounding enemies during the animation. You can also combine smoke bombs during combat to get multiple chained assassinations on all of the enemies around you if you are surrounded. I was so glad that they brought this back from the older Assassin's Creed games where you could clear out an entire group of enemies by chain assassinations and smoke bombs and you can even cheese the bosses the same way. Also in Mirage you do have traps where you can throw them that will incapacitate a group of enemies. You have blow darts that you can put enemies to sleep or make them go berserk and start attacking each other. I love in the Assassin's Creed games where you could find the toughest enemy in a group and hit them with the Berserk Dark and they will literally wipe out half the enemies in a camp for me where I'll just sneak in and get the loot 
and then I'm up out of there. Also, if you're short on money, you can just pickpocket civilians and guards. You'll even find some artifacts off certain NPCs that you can trade in for rewards with a certain merchant in the game. One of my most abused abilities is the Assassin's Focus ability, which was very similar to the way the Spear of Leonidas assassination worked in Odyssey, where you slow down time and instantly teleport to your enemy and assassinate them instantly. It's pretty cool how Mirage put their spin on this, and I really liked that a lot, especially when you're trying to get those hard-to-reach spaces or get past an area without the guards seeing me. You can also start out with four throwing knives, and then you have to upgrade your tool skills to be able to equip more. A lot of the time, I was in a fight and wanted to silently take down an enemy from long distance, but they didn't have enough throwing knives versus the last three Assassin's Creed games like Odyssey, Origins, and Valhalla where I always had plenty of arrows. The game really forces you to try to get right up in your enemy's personal bubble so they can meet the hidden blade of the assassins in Mirage. The game does give you the ability to upgrade weapons, gear, and alter their appearances. You also get costumes which don't have any effects on your stats, but you'll look really cool playing the game. The side missions in this game were very small and I never felt compelled to do any of them, but they were there. The way that the main missions work is you get clues to your targets through what are called investigations instead of just quest. So you're actually Detective Bassam and you basically go around reading scrolls and collecting items for people and ultimately they will eventually lead you to assassinating an order of the ancient cult member. There wasn't really any rhyme or reason to this that we really had any emotional attachment to doing this other than that Bassam is in the Brotherhood and he is just following orders whereas in other Assassin's Creed games usually the protagonist has some sort of personal vengeance or wants to retaliate due to something that happened between them. Massim just kind of does what Rashawn tells him to do because she is his master. So the pros are that this game does have a fantastic parkour and stealth system and really took advantage of close quarter combat pairing and making this player probably perform more assassinations in a standalone Assassin's Creed game than they have ever in a very long time. I mean, they really made assassinations such a crucial part of this game and I really love Ubisoft for that. So the cons. I really wish they had fleshed out this story and gave us more lore and worked on the character designs to really see some more of the artistic love that they actually put into other games that were more RPG focused. I felt the story was kind of short and didn't start getting good until the very end. The game is worth $50 before tax in the US right now and you get about 17 hours worth of gameplay in Mirage on average. I personally would wait for a sale to probably grab this game just because right now with all the bangers coming out like Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk's Phantom Liberty DLC, and Spider-Man 2 coming up, there may be better places to invest your money for the moment until Assassin's Creed Mirage does go on sale. Overall, this is a great game for what it is, and I love most Assassin's Creed games. I would give Mirage a solid 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching my video. If you aren't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a like because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and growing this channel and me making more videos like this one. Thanks everyone. Are you playing Assassin's Creed Mirage? What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, bye.